Allen and Trent Carr from the band. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Frederick. It's great to have you here. How you doing? Now, you're currently in the midst of what has been a very intensive, I guess, cross Canada track. I guess you've been for four months now. Um, how's the tour been going now so far? Great. No yeah. complaints. Best tour we've ever had. You know, places have been packed. Can't, can't complain yet. I guess the last tour you were for like two years, was it? Yeah, yeah, more or less. Yeah, okay. but this one uh -huh. kind of worked. Work. It just took off to a good start, so it was just pretty easy to tour behind it. And besides, we made a name for ourselves from touring so much with the first record that it just fell into place this time. And how long do you plan on staying out this time? Osprey is going to go until we can't. <laughs> just keep on playing. Just keep on going back and forth across Canada and tour the States, maybe, in Europe. Okay, now, of course, you're out promoting your latest album, uh, Teeth and Tissue, which is a great album, I might add. How's the reaction been now to the new, ma new material when you perform it live? Uh, the record's been out, so people have it. They all know the words, you know. It's just been, uh, like I said, we can't complain. It's been a great tour, and the people have been really receptive. And we're getting the proper media attention just because we've been around for a while and we didn't go away after the first record. So it's... Uh, it's funny, you know, it's like anything else. It's all exposure. I mean, there's certain songs that are on the radio now, and you can tell that that's what people know because they erupt when, like, Unsound or something. One of the singles are played. That's the one they're most familiar with, and they go nuts. And there was a video for it. But uh, on the whole, it's been great. We still play stuff off our last record just because we need to kill time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what's your reaction been like, say, in the Maritimes compared to other areas like Quebec or Ontario? Well, this time it's been amazing. Well, this is our only our second show this one. This is uh, Eastern tour. Yeah, yeah, we had a great Antigonish last time we were here, and uh, we'll we'll see we'll see about tonight. I don't know. This is only our second time here. Okay. You guys are touring with the Killjoys as a sport act. How did you get hooked up now with them? We've known them for a while. They played before they got signed. They played uh, in in Kitchener with us and uh, in London. We played with them before, you know, and they've got signed, and it was just a good idea to. It's generally good if you. Uh, if you like the band, if you like the band yeah, because if they're just a bunch of kids who nobody gives a you know what I mean, and then you just want to fight, and then it's just, it's just no fun, and, and touring is a lot more work than people think. It's not all just you play a great gig, and then hey, and then you walk around like you're cool. It's a lot of dead time and a lot of waiting, and if you don't get along with somebody, it's just terror, you know. You guys all party together, do you? Uh, every night, all the time, <laughs> non-stop. 24 hours a day. 2, 4, 7. We're stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, he often within your lyrics, there appears to be, I guess, uh... Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I guess there appears to be sort of a, a fascination with um, self-destructiveness, yeah. such as within the song, like, Swinging, for example. Is that kind of a primary reflection of yourself in earlier days, or where do you come up with those yeah. ideas? Like, uh, everybody's had their... their, their shitty years or whatever you know and i've had mine and it's just it's something that i don't go to i don't sit down and write a song and think this is going to be interesting or this is going to be cool it just comes to you and i find that if when it just comes to you naturally and then you write it down it just makes more sense and it's a little more heartfelt i don't know where they come from but it does seem some of them do seem bent on uh that self-destructive kind of tangent but uh they make for great songs, and they're interesting songs, and I'd much rather listen to some of our songs that are perhaps a little depressing than some wishy-washy, happy, schmappy, you know, uh, pablum. pablum. What do you think about uh, Kurt Cobain committing suicide? Great career move. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sold a lot more albums, though. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you don't do that. No, I hope I don't either. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> okay. Now, I guess in the high school uh, in Kingston, Ontario, we were friends with Gore Downey, who yeah. was a uh, lead singer of Tres the Hip. Now, do you still uh, keep in contact with him? I was over at his place a month ago, and I said, I'm going to Ajax to play a couple of gigs. we got a few more tours left. And he said, uh, I'm going to play with the Rolling Stones in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, yeah. No, they're great guys. They've just, they've, I've known them for 15 years since we were kids. Just nice guys, and they've got a lot of integrity, and they've helped me out. You know, and with the band stuff, just a, a hard-working rock and roll band that writes great songs. Okay, right on. Now, with more and more radio stations, I guess, these days adopting a gold or oldies format, do you guys find it more increasingly more difficult to uh, get airplay than Always. before? Always. Airplay's just, you know, unless, unless we write Sweet Home Alabama, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's tough to get on. But, I mean, uh, after having said that, this time around, we're getting a lot more... Uh, uh, 
we're getting a lot more help with the radio stations. I think people are taking a second look, and we are a Canadian band, and we do have something to say. And uh, we are getting a break in most, I hate to say markets, but that's what it is. And, uh, and we're getting picked up, and we're doing okay, so we can't complain. I mean, so much of it is geared towards, you know, drive time and, and commercials and junk like that, that, I mean, it would be pretty hard for us to get on, on when they want to cheer up the, cheer up the uh, proletariats and make them buy <laughs> stuff and then put on one of our songs, you know, so it's difficult. I don't know. I just know that this time it's working a little better for us, so I can't complain. Although I would be happier if every single radio station used that CanCon thing and did play us and a number of other bands, you know, but more us than the other bands. Because I know if it wasn't for much music, I probably would never, never heard of you guys or Junk House or Tea Party yeah. or any of the new bands that yeah. are coming out. Yeah, no, but that's the, that's the tragedy. Because uh, if it's just left to radio stations, forget it. You know, that's, that's the good thing about much music. I mean, if, if you, you know, you, it's something to watch on TV, and if they do program you on your video, it gets out to more people than, than a radio station, because it's a nationwide radio station, basically. So, uh, yeah, I've been very happy with that. And uh, we've got another video, and if they play that, then I'll be going over there and personally kissing some ass. <laughs> now, is making video something you enjoy? Sometimes. Well, you know, I like... <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that we kind of enjoy. Like, if we come up with a good idea and we're happy with it, then we enjoy it. But if it turns out bad, then we don't enjoy it. Yeah, then it's somebody <laughs> else's fault. Yeah, we blame everybody else and, and, and take all the credit. Yeah. That's if we win, that's from our philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> if we win, then we take all the credit. If it goes wrong, then it's the manager's fault or the record companies. Or, but it's not our fault. It just can't be our fault. So much music playing your videos, though. Yeah, this time, this time around, you know, uh, can't I can't complain. And hopefully, in this next video we have, hopefully it'll get played. But I mean, that's helped us out a lot. You could tell, because the first record we didn't get a lot of airplay, but this one they picked it up, and uh, and you could tell just in terms of the audience, uh, the numbers of people showing up because they have seen the video, and that does, it's uh, you know, it's great, great for us. It's a good marketing tool or whatever the hell it's called, you know. Now, yesterday I was in one of the local record stores, and I oh, seen your uh, yeah, I seen your debut album, Picture of Health. Okay. It had a parental advisory sticker on it. Now, yeah. that does that... Do that's nothing to do with us. That's a record company thing or a record store thing. I don't know. That that surprised us too. So it was stupid. There's one word, mother. <laughs> one word. What was it again? Because <laughs> we're censoring that. Yeah. <laughs> More word for it. And uh, and because of that word, they stuck that on. Like, there's not a parental thing on this yeah, new well, record. Yeah, there's sort of it? a weird. It's a new kind of warning. It's not that same old sticker. There's there's, there's a new sticker out there. I don't it's know. It's crap. I mean, fucking kids can it get. It just makes people buy it if they see it. They go, ooh, wow, must be good. Oh yeah, increase the sales for sure. Increase yeah. the sales. Now tell me, what do you think the U.S. market's no, so hard to crack now for Canadian bands? It's always big. been hard to big. crack. It's big, and they don't like. They like to discover their stuff and blah blah blah. But I mean, it's not impossible. I mean, if you can... Crush test dummies did it. Yeah. You know, it's not impossible. And I mean, it just depends on how badly you want it to, and if you're willing to go and work for nothing and hang out. We're not, personally, unless we get tour support. Forget it. I could tour here and make a good living. I don't care. Yeah. You know, instead of going there and... If you, a dead horse. Yeah, yeah. Unless there's, unless there's some real uh, momentum behind it, and, there's, and people who really believe in the and what, what you're doing and, and are willing to put money behind it, then there's no point in going, you know what I mean? Like, why bother going just so you can tell your friends, yeah, we're playing in the States, who gives a shit, yeah. you know? I find and it funny. It, too many people, uh, that's what, uh, you know, gauges their success or whatever, and that's bullshit. The first sign of success is A, getting a record deal, you know? B, sustaining it for more than one record. And, uh, and if you can do it at home, you're laughing, you know? Like, I mean, you can always go to Europe, you can tour in the States. I just think there's too much emphasis placed on it. And, there's a lot and of other I, countries out there. Yeah, and I know why, because that's where the money and the big fame is. And of course, everybody else in your organization wants you to do well, and that's super well. But I mean, uh, we're, I'm pretty satisfied at the level of success that we've gotten so far, you know? Now, with your success, would there be any advice you could give to, say, an uh, up-and-coming band? Uh, don't do it. <laughs> just really, don't fool yourself. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of work and it's a lot of luck no, and timing. We don't need any more uh, competition. Yeah, we don't need any so competition. Stop. So stop now. If you're at <laughs> home or you're even thinking about writing or doing anything creative, don't. There's no point. It'll get you nowhere. It's nothing but disappointing and uh, broken dreams and promises. You'll just become shells of yourself. 
Well, keep sure. on trying. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did the deal with MCA come about? Uh, they were just wildly impressed with my charisma and uh, my <laughs> songwriting talents. And <laughs> well, luck and timing. All is, luck uh, and timing. Like the right say. people saw us. We had the right songs at the time. Uh, there, there was a great A and R guy there. Yeah, it just goes on the one person usually who believes in you, and he works. To, he has the right job at the right record company, and he happens to, to be able to pull it off. Yeah. And and, and fool everybody else that we're good. So <laughs> we got signed. And we scored. Now, Hugh, you've done some acting recently yes, in a uh, cameo role in CBC. How did you get into acting? Uh, just bullshitting around. Bruce McDonald. McDonald. He's uh, two words. Bruce McDonald. Two words. Yeah, yeah. He keeps me employed in the acting field. Any future uh, acting jobs coming yes, up? As a matter of fact, there is. <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> You're a one-man show. Over there. I'm about to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do a one-man show out in front of the liquor store on Friday mornings. Uh, there's a new Bruce McDonald movie called Hardcore Logo, and I just got the lead part, one of the, one of the lead parts. And it's about an old punk band who is trying to get back on the road and make some money and relive their dreams or some shit. It's pretty depressing, but kind of interesting. And it's, and it's a neat role, and I decided to take it. The money's good, and I got to shave my head. And, and it'll be a good way. Like, after this tour's over, uh, we've got a week off, then I go to Vancouver to shoot this mo movie, and the band's gonna have something to do with the soundtrack and stuff. And then we do our last tour, our, we do a university tour in the fall across Canada, then we have Christmas off, and then in March we go to make our next record with Chris Sangridis, who did uh, Concrete Blonde and The Hips Fully Completely. So we actually have a future this year. Like, we know what we're doing right up until, until 96. Okay, well, definitely be looking forward to seeing that movie, and uh, best of luck with the tour and album, guys. Thanks very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Headstones. If you ever see them live, go check them out.